everyone, my name is Joshua Bola and welcome to my channel. If you haven't noticed, I've not posted in a long while and so uh, that was due to school and exams. But now I'm back. I've been trying to reach over a thousand subscribers since the start of this channel and we're very close to our target. So please su subscribe and press that subscribe button. And also make sure to turn on your know, notifications so that anytime I post a new video, get to you know that okay i was in your video uh i was interviewed by bbc alongside other african programmers people that worked in tech and people even twitch designers and all that stuff and so this is the video that's you know it's, it's not, not just me but those other people it's also in this tech space thank you and sit down and enjoy the video <laughs> Hello and welcome to What's New from BBC Africa. I am Damilola in Lagos. Nigeria has the biggest technology sector on the continent. And that's what this show is all about. Technology and innovation. You're never too young to invent and innovate. 12-year-old Josh tells us about how he got started. School pupils are learning in a virtual world. And we'll meet two young Kenyans who have made a timely invention for deaf and blind people. So we came up with this idea of a deaf-blind watch to assist the deaf-blind person. All that and much more coming up on BBC What's New. Welcome to the show. I am at Venture Garden Group's Vibranium Valley, a tech and innovation hub here in Lagos, Nigeria. The people who work here are involved in developing new technologies to transform different industrial sectors and are part of the city's thriving tech scene. But you don't have to wait until you leave school if you're interested in technology and innovation. Believe it or not, the ice lolly, the trampoline and the snowmobile were all invented by people aged 16 and under. Yes, age didn't be a barrier to having a great idea, and that's something our first guest certainly shows. Joshua from Nigeria first learned to code at just six, and has used those skills to develop apps and technology which help young people. He's 12 now and still full of ideas, as I found out when I went to meet him. The first thing that inspired me to go in tech were my parents. They encouraged me uh, at a young age to start learning programming languages and all that stuff. But after their encouragement, I get my own personal drive after seeing the amount of opportunities that can be found in technology. My name is Joshua Gbola. Um, I'm a 12 year programmer. I'm also the founder of Josh for Tech. In Josh for Tech, I provide skill empowerment services and also build a lot of apps to solve particular problems. I also have a YouTube channel called Josh for Tech, in which I teach children coding in a more fun way. I started coding at the age of six, around that five, six, because I celebrated my sixth birthday in the computer school. I went down my eight, nine year old, nine, when I was nine, I started building projects, lots of projects, started building on my websites. I made for myself, I made one for my sister, I also made one for my school. Family as a primary social group too. Week four, family as a primary social group, roles and responsibilities. Back when I started, I couldn't maybe do all this AI stuff, this AI and even some advanced development, but now I've improved my skill. I also be able to win some competitions, uh, like um, an Akato, in which they gave me one million in for to build that Kawuka app, so they'll take it to the next level. Also won another award, um, 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 you know, independence award, in which uh, I was, I won the first intellectual bravery. I would like to dive into um, artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning to know better about this. Maybe build my own robots one day. Code is not as hard as people think it is. There are many ways you can learn. Go to fake code camp, go to um, YouTube, start learning and building your skills so you can improve your knowledge for the fourth industrial revolution. I remember, it was not about filling buckets, it's about lighting fires. Let's light fires with technology today. 